Well, I begin by painting large abstract oil paintings and then I place still life objects in front of them and I translate that into watercolor, the combination of the abstract painting and the object. Then I also take the objects that I've used as still lifes and paint them, as you can see in the background. And then I place those in combination, photograph them and make color Xerox prints. I tear up the color Xerox prints that I have in excess and make collages from those. And then I also do large abstract oil paintings again from the collages. It's an expression of uh, combining seemingly disparate philosophies and styles and also uh, making style less important and content more important by using all the different styles. You won't see Keith Smith's work in Sacramento galleries. He'd love to be there, he says, but his approach is hard for most local galleries to handle in their usual format. So he's been concentrating on shows in the Los Angeles area. But he does have a local following for his everyday objects, transformed, illuminated, dissected, reconstructed. They're ordinary, yes. They're things you see every day. And in a way, when they've been painted on, I think you see them differently. You see their structure more clearly sometimes. People tend to want to pigeonhole you and, and want you to work in one static way and continue one grouping of, of works and make them look very similarly and just make minor changes rather than I almost make uh, cataclysmic changes uh, in a very short period of time. Communications have in the recent years uh, tended to blend philosophies also and areas of the country for instance uh, um, rural areas are no longer rural because they've been introduced to television, so it does a similar thing to what I'm trying to do with my artwork. Smith admits to a Renaissance approach to color, using lush overlays of saturated color that contrast with his extremely modern subject matter. His color Xeroxes are straightforward reproductions of the objects he began with, but the technique adds another dimension. It's a crutch with an extension cord draped over it. And model dressed in a, a Mexican uh, political mask and then she's in front of the screen door. Again extension cords, that's a, a soap dish and there's a, a rake in front and it's all pretty much laid on the, the screen door. The Xerox heightens the color a little bit and then you have to use really accurate slides. Um, I use professional film and uh, tungsten lights the more accurate the color is that you come to it with, then it, it does better things with it. Anything that's off, it plays up and exaggerates. Smith searches thrift shops, his own backyard and basement, even the scene of fires to find his objects. The more familiar, the better to explore the design inherent in things we take for granted. Just about everybody responds to some part of it. That's what I found, that it strikes a note with at least one part of it to usually hits somebody. Uh, so it varies. The rare person is the person who can look at it and, and envelop it all and, and uh, understand all the connections and, and really enjoy the similarities between them even though they are different styles.